When you run out of paint, it's really important that you don't run all the way out of paint. As you can see, I still have some left in my well. The reason for that is because it's very hard to match wet paint to dry paint. The glossiness of this makes it very difficult. So I'm going to try to mix up that same color in the well right next to it. So I'm going to add some white in there. Like so. And then I'm going to start adding black to it. I think I might actually need a little bit more white to get started. That doesn't seem worth the trouble to just put that little in there. Don't overdo it on the black. It doesn't take much to make a big difference, remember? Let's see, I probably almost overdid it there. Got very close to making a big mess. Isn't necessarily a bad thing to have this be a little bit lighter than that, but I'm going to try to make it right on. I think just a little bit more of a dab of black ought to do it, and then I can start adding water to it to get it to be a good creamy painting consistency. I think that's reasonably close without getting much past that. You can hold it up right next to it. Definitely don't want it to be darker than the original. I can now take the original if I want and scooch it into here, combining them. And I can add some water now. Double checking the consistency, being sure it's nice and creamy, not holding stiff peaks like a meringue. Gotta be like melted ice cream. The bottom of your bowl, it's been sitting out while you're watching a movie. Just that creamy, drippy, soupy quality without being milky or watery. There we go.